Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise Master Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We bless you. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord Jesus, for a, for a day like this. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanksgiving. We give you all the thanksgiving, Lord, for bringing us again tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you all. God bless you all as you're tuning in. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I just want us to be in the, the mood of prayer. Let's be in the mood of prayer. God bless you, Sister Anne. God bless you. I don't know who else is on, but I can see I can see some of your names. I can see some people are coming up. Hallelujah. Please, as you just tune in, just kindly you know, click the share button so that some other people can join us. The mighty name of Jesus. Why I also try to invite people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please let's try to invite people so that they can join us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. Thy Holy Spirit teach on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning. Jesus, good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. Thy Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my hands. I will enter his court with praise. And I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad, I am so glad, I will rejoice for he has made me glad, made me glad, he has made me glad, I am so glad, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. Somebody sing with me, Worthy, Jesus is worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, we worship you. I say, worthy, Jesus, see you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. I want you to sing with me, worthy, our Lord and Savior, he is worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Holy, holy, oh yeah. Holy, holy, oh yeah. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty. 
As we lift our voice before Thee, as we talk in our valley, holy, 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 be Thou exalted, be Thou exalted, Lord above on be the exalted, be the exalted, Lord above on Hallelujah, let thy glory be above on the earth. Let thy glory be above on the earth. Hallelujah, be the exalted Lord above on heaven. As a be the exalted Lord above. Oh, never, hallelujah, let thy glory be able on thee. Somebody sing with me, let thy glory be able on thee. And Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. You are so kind. Yahweh, you are my Yahweh. Yahweh, you are my Yahweh. Yahweh, you are so good. You are so kind. Yahweh, you are so great. Yahweh, you are so awesome. Yahweh. You are so great. You are the Lord. Let the name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Eh, I will give you glory and honor. You are my God. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory. We give you glory. Somebody be in the spirit. And the Lord. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, King of glory. Remember me. Somebody sing it. Remember me, King of glory. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, King of glory. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me. King of glory, remember me, O Lord, remember me in your kingdom, remember me, O Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Oh, do something new in my life, do something great in my life, do something special in my life. O Lord, are you singing with me? Do something great in my life. Do something wonderful in my life. Do something great in my life. Oh Lord, my Jehovah, do something great in my life. Do something wonderful in my life. Something awesome in my life. Oh Lord, do something great, do something great in my life. Do something wonderful in my life, something great in my life, oh Lord. The Lord shall bless somebody tonight, the Lord shall bless somebody tonight, the Lord will honor somebody tonight. I don't know who the person is, the Lord will visit you right there where you are. 
The Lord will touch you, he will bless you. The Lord will visit you and honor you. It's a time to shine, it's a time to shine. There's something new in your life. He will do something great in your life. He will do something marvelous in your life. Oh Lord, he will do it. He will do something great in your life. He will do something marvelous in your life. He will do something great in your life. Oh Lord, <clears throat> my Lord will honor you tonight. My Lord will honor you tonight. As many of you that is watching me tonight. Oh Lord, Jesus, we call you. Come and bless them as many as they are. Watch it right now, Jehovah Lady. Come and bless them, Jehovah Yahweh. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. My Lord, my Lord and Savior, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you daddy i cannot do without you oh lord they cannot do lord they cannot do without you they cannot do without you they cannot do anything without you they need you your children need you they cannot do anything without you they cannot do anything without you they cannot do anything without you oh lord who is wonderful it's my jesus who is wonderful it's my jesus who is wonderful it's my savior who is wonderful it's my jesus can't you worship him i will worship him can't you praise him with me i will praise him it shall be permanent i said it shall be permanent what the lord will do for you it shall be permanent it shall be permanent oh my god it shall be permanent i am here to pray with you it shall be permanent your job will be permanent your marriage will be permanent. What the Lord will do for you, I say it shall be permanent. Your baby will be permanent. Your peace of mind will be permanent. What the Lord will do for you, I say it shall be permanent. Nobody will rob you what he will give to you tonight. Nobody will rob you, what well, he will bless you with right now. Nobody will deny you your portion from the Lord. I pray with you. Nobody will deny you your portion tonight. Whatever the Lord has in, you know, in stock for you tonight, you shall inherit it, you shall get it by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am just here tonight by the grace of God to pray with us. You know, um, by the grace of God, many of you has lodged in, you know, complain about, you know, business, job, confusion, what you want to do. You, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to, you know, a lot of things in your business, in your career, what you want to do and all that. But I'm here to pray with you that in the calendar of the Most High God, there is nothing like confusion. I am going to pray with you tonight in the on your business in whatever you are doing. The Bible says whatever your hands find doing, it said, Do it well, do it good, do it well, so that the, the hand of the Lord shall prosper it. I am telling you tonight, I'm here right now to encourage you to not give up on you know, give up on your destiny, do not give up on your on your business. Do not give up on that thing you're doing. That little, little thing you're doing to, you know. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I should pray for you. You're having a surgery. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
I'm, I'm praying for your son right now who says he's going for a surgery in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, your word says, by your stripes we are healed. Lord, we pray, O oh God, for your son this night, O oh God, that even as he's going for that surgery, by the power in the name of Jesus, let the hosts of heaven go with him, O oh God. Let the angels of heaven go with him, O oh God. Let the doctors of heaven from above do the surgery themselves in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Amanda Rulen, Rulen, Amanda Rulen. By the grace of God, you shall go in. In that surgery room you will come out a living testimony in the name of Jesus any power of the enemy to hurl you down in that surgery room in order to take your life that will not possible it will not be possible God will not allow their plans to come to pass over your life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I release peace of mind upon you I release joy in your life I release healing by the power in the name of Jesus you are healed you are set free in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says for whom the son of the Lord has set free he shall be free indeed this night your freedom of, of divine surgery has been given unto you you will go into that surgery room and you come out a living testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you Abba Father in Jesus name we pray please if you have any prayer point you want me to pray about kindly type it right now let me pray for you there is no distance in the spirit there's no distance god is everywhere the spirit of the lord is upon the earth he's hovering all over the world the bible says the eyes of the lord is upon the earth he can see the things that is happening in dark places so wherever you are right now put your prayer request right now let me pray for you like i said the the, the aim of this prayer tonight is to pray for those who are believing god you know for a new business or those who are already in one business or the other but they are expecting a, you know a, a promotion they are expecting you know good sales they are believing god for divine turnaround in their business in their career your career is your business don't misunderstand me whether you're a student your schooling you need power of god to excel in your study whether you are a businessman or woman, you need the hand of the Lord to excel in your business. Whether you are still planning to go into business, into one thing or the other, whatever it is that your hands find doing, do it well to the glory of God. Hallelujah. I want to just pray for those of you who are into one business or the other. The hand of the Lord shall locate your business after today in the name of Jesus. I'm also praying for those who are still finding it difficult to identify with their destiny. Many people are still struggling. They don't know what their destiny is about. They don't know what they are called to do. Everything seems to be what they are called to do. Everything they look, they seem to be what God is calling them to do. You, you can I mean, you have to know what God is you know is in use of you for you have to know what you are called to do you have to know what is your destiny you have to know what you need i am telling you 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 have to whether you are called to be a teacher you are called to be you know a businessman you are called to be a counselor whatever it is whatever field you are called in please prayerfully seek it prayerfully identify it and prayerfully walk in it prayerfully seek it identify it walk in it many of us we we have prayerfully seek it yes god has spoken we have not identified it we have not really oh i don't know if it is this or that or some have identified but they are not working in it some has already been working in their own line of destiny but suddenly along the line something happened, they divert, they divert, they divert. Such people, God is calling you back to your normal track. God is calling you back to your normal track of destiny. Until you come back to your normal track of destiny, 
nothing will seem to be happening. I am telling you, it is good to follow God's instruction. It is good to go when God says go. It is good to stop when God says stop. It is good to pause when God says pause. Though sometimes it may look odd into the hearing of people. Oh, that business. I thought he had big shop in Alaba. I thought he do this in here. I thought he, he, you know, he did that. It doesn't matter what anybody is saying or looking at. What matters is what God is saying. Your journey with the Lord is what matters to God and even you. What people say is not of any use that much. I am telling you because they don't know your relationship with God. They don't know the level at where you are in your journey with the Lord. So you need to know what you're doing with your God. So that at the end of the day, you yourself will stand before the Almighty God to give account of what you have invested or you or how you have managed the gift that or the calling or the you know the your purpose here on earth because we all have purpose why god has created us god has made a lot of us millionaires god has made a lot of us billionaires so that we can be useful in the kingdom of god there are a lot of you god has called into charity god into helping the less privileged god into partnering with you know ministries that run charities and all that you know many of you god has given you the key to nations to feed a lot of people to help the poor to do many of you have that blessing but you don't use it you don't use that gift you don't use it. Many of you will, will know this is the area God is calling you, but you are looking in, into somebody's you know, vision. You are running somebody's race. Oh my God, it's high time you know what God is calling you to do. You know what you, you, you know about. Apart from being educated, let me tell you something. Apart from being educated, that is what we call you know, natural gift from God. Natural gift natural ideas from god that can make you what god has ordained you there are natural gifts that god has embedded on each and every soul created by god natural ideas i am telling you it's not a joking matter there are some things you can do to make ends meet for yourself i am praying for those that are seeking for business ideas I am praying for those that are looking, seeking for a direction on what to start doing. I'm praying for those that are already in one business or the other. I am praying for <laughs> students as well. All those things are just career altogether. I am telling you. Maybe you are confused. You don't know what to do. You don't know what business to start doing. I'm going to pray for you right now. The hand of the Lord will show you what to do after this moment. I am telling you. But you have to key in. You have to know what they are doing right here where you are. Connect. Don't allow anything to distract you. So that after this prayer, just quietly go and sleep. Keep reminding God. Keep God will speak to God will show you. In, even in your dream, you can see yourself doing it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to quickly take us to um <clears throat> let me take us to um Deuteronomy 8:18. Deuteronomy 8, verse 18. The word of the Lord is very, you know, um, strong there. It says, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant, which He swore to your Father, as it is this day. Do you see? In other words, as you are about praying for God's direction for a new business, or as you are already in that business, God needs you to get him involved. God needs you to get him involved. Because it is him who will establish that which you are doing. When God is outside it, then I don't know how you, one is going to make it when the hand of the Lord is not in it. When the hand of the Lord is not in that business, when the hand of the Lord is not in your studies, when the hand of the Lord is not you know, in that career, when the hand of the Lord is not in your thinking, many of us, we just sit down, we think, we conclude. I wonder what it will become. But I'm telling you, according to the word of the Lord in Deuteronomy 8 verse 18, he said, for you shall not forsake 
the Lord your God. He said, you shall remember him, the Lord your God, because it is him who gives you power to do, to, to you know, gather wealth in order to fulfill his covenant in your life, just as he has promised our forefathers, even as, as it is now. Hallelujah, somebody. You see that God is greatly involved when it comes to, you know, praying about what we want to do, business, marriage, anything, anything. God is seriously involved. Yes, hallelujah. I think I'm going to pray for, um, let me see, other prayer points that came in. Say, say, divine favor for my auntie. She is more than 40 years and uh, also favor in anything she lays her hand upon will prosper. All right. Okay. She's over 40. She's believing God for marriage. <clears throat> okay. Father, that my auntie is not okay. Okay. All right. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, everlasting King of glory, Lord, I commit your daughter right now before you, O oh God. Using um, 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 Patricia Chichi Nkwaeze, sorry if I didn't get it away, Nkwaeze, as a point of contact to reach her wherever she is, O oh God. Lord, I remember in the year 2011, 10 11, Lord, in the ministry, you know, where we gathered and the fellowship was going on. And you revealed to me some certain people here, you know, who has people who are of age of getting married. And the moment they hear marriage, they get afraid. They know this. All those things are not the spirit of God. You know, sometimes the hand of the enemy is in it. But tonight, oh God, the God that can do all things. The God that answers by fire. The God that time is not a barrier for or to. Lord, I pray that wherever this person in question is, O oh God, let the hand of the Lord locate her. Single her out for her marriage. In the name of Jesus. Please, I don't want anybody to call my land now. I don't want anybody to call me now. Please. I'm on live message. If anybody wants. Please, I don't want anybody to call my line right, right now. If you want to call me, call on this line for prayer. This is the line to call. Let me just give this line for prayer, please. So that the calls as they are coming in, they are strutting the, um, the, the life message. This is the prayer. Please, can somebody help me put it down? Plus four four. In case of whoever is calling from wherever. Plus four four. Please help me put it down if you're... If somebody can help me put it down, plus four four seven four nine eight six zero eight eight three three. Is anybody helping me to type it? <coughs> Sister Gona, please help out. Plus four four seven four nine eight six zero eight eight three three. That is the number to call right now for for prayer life here. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for your daughter right there where she is in Nigeria. Lord, let your mighty hand locate her. Single her out for divine touch. In the mighty name of Jesus. Single her out. Single her out. Single her out. Single her out in the name of Jesus. Single her out in the name of Jesus. Single her out. Single her out in the name of Jesus. Single her out in the name of Jesus. Yes. God bless you. Plus four four seven four nine eight six zero. Yes, yes, that is it. Yes. God bless you, my dear sister Patricia. God bless you. That is the number to call in for prayers. Please call that number. <clears throat> plus four four plus four four seven four nine eight. Six zero eight eight three three. That is the number to call in right now. Wherever you're calling from, anywhere in the world, once you call it now, I will answer you by the grace of God. Hallelujah! Praise God! In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for that love that you know our beloved sister. Lord, we pray that 
Jehovah God will meet her and single her out for her own celebration. Lord, you bring the man that suits her, O oh God. You single her husband out among the crowd, wherever he is right now, Lord. Let the mighty hand of the Lord go and touch whoever is, whoever is her husband. And let the man begin to make haste to locate who is his wife. In the name of Jesus. And even as he locates her, O oh God. Jehovah, Lord God, Jehovah, let everything begin to happen fast. No delay in the name of Jesus. No delay in the name of Jesus. No delay. No delay. Father, Lord, honor your word in the name of Jesus. Touch her wherever she is. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray. We thank you because we know that you're doing it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone with prayer point, please drop your prayer point so I can pray for you. I can pray for you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I will go on with the message. I will continue with the message right now. <clears throat> praise God. <clears throat> praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Our God is good. So like the scripture says in that uh, um, Deuteronomy um, 8 verse 18. It says God gives us the power to make wet. We, we can't make wet by our own self. It is the grace of God that will abide upon us. To be able to excel and prosper in whatever thing we are doing. Because in the world of today, there are so many oppressors. There are so many destiny killers. There are so many destiny tormentors that would not want your, you know, you know, your, your, your business or your career or anything you're doing to shine. But the moment God is in need, no matter what they are doing, no matter how they try, no matter what they, you know, they, you know, they conspire. The Bible says even surely, say more they must gather. He said, but their gathering will not be for you, for your business, for your destiny, for your purpose in life. It will not be for it because the hand of the Lord is upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, if God is with you, who can be against you? Nobody can be against you. When the hand of the Lord is with you, nobody can be against you. He said, he that is with the Lord is majority. You are the majority of the Lord because you are on the Lord's side. You are on the law side. In that business you're doing, you are on the law side. If your that business is not on the on God's side, it cannot prosper. I am telling you. Forget about people that are prospering in a dubious way. The Bible says we should not be envious of workers of iniquity, for they shall pay for it on the last day. As a child of God, as children of God, we need to operate with God. Our business needs to be right with God. Our business needs to be clean before the eyes of the Lord. We need to seek God even before picking that business that we want to do. And I pray that the Lord will touch us tonight and give us the grace to choose the right business to do in the mighty name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. The Bible also says in Psalm 46 verse 1, it says, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in time of trouble a very present help in time of trouble maybe you're oppressed maybe you you know you know you're weak you're confused you don't know the business to go into you don't know what to do you don't know how to start it maybe you don't even have finance or supporters or whatever oh my god do you think you're abandoned do you think you are left alone you are not left alone you are with God and God is with you. I want you to just trust God. According to his word in 15, 64, 46 verse 1. Trust him with that word. He said he is your refuge. He is your strength. Maybe you are lacking strength to stand. To conf you know, confront and, and identify the business, the you know, the what God wants you to do in life, you need the strength of God. And He said, He is our very present help in time of need. The Lord will be your need. The Lord will be your need. I pray this minute. May the Lord send you help us. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord encourage you. May the Lord open your eyes. May the Lord whisper into your heart, oh God, that business, that career. That, you know, that purpose in life that will suction you 
to the level where God wants you to operate in your life. May that grace locate you right now in the name of Jesus. May that grace locate you right now in the name of Jesus. The grace to operate in the love of God wants you to operate. May you receive that grace, that anointing now in the mighty name of Jesus. And again, the Bible says again in Philippians 4.19, it says, But my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in, in, in glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord will supply all your your, your your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus Christ in whom we trust in whom we believe our Jesus cannot let us down our Jesus cannot leave us in the midst of confusion I am telling you that he is worthy of our praise the moment you trust him according to his word in that Philippians 4 19 he said God will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus hallelujah this minute I pray. Do you need resources? Do you need help? Do you need support? Do you need whatever it is you need to start up that business? Whatever you need, you need to, you know, to keep that business going. Maybe you're already in the business, but along the line, something is stuck in somewhere. Receive the help of God in the mighty name of Jesus. God said he will supply our needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Oh my God. Father Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray for those that are into business. I pray for those that are believing you for business. I pray for those that are believing you on how they can fulfill their destiny. Lord, are they needing material things? Are they needing help? Are they needing human, uh, humanitarian help? Are they needing financial help? Are they needing anything, material things? However, oh Lord, Father Lord, you are the God of the whole earth. The Bible said that the, 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 the Lord is the earth and the fullness, the, the, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. You own this earth, oh God. There's nothing you don't know. There's nothing you don't have. There's nothing you can't give to those who trust you. Father Lord, I pray. From the four corners of this earth, O oh Lord, release your help. Release financial help, O oh God. Release material help. Release humanitarian help, O oh God, for them. In the name of Jesus. Release human help. Release human help in the name of Jesus. Those who need human in their life, release it, O oh God, in that business for them. In that career, release it. Lord, release it in the name of Jesus. Those who are believing you for finance, O oh God. Lord, release their finance, O oh God. Release connection to those who need connection to be who you want them to be release that connection in the name of jesus king of glory release that connection release that connection release that connection in the name of jesus receive your connection right now receive your divine connection maya bashataya libra soto libra ndebo sata eka pato leboza in the name of jesus receive your divine connection may the lord connect you to that man to that woman that will make you be what he wants you to be may the lord connect you to the right that right person lord i pray i disconnect every wrong person around your destiny around your business around your business around your career i disconnect you from the people that are killing your destiny i disconnect you from the people that are killing your business. I disconnect you from those that are stealing your money. I disconnect you from those that are killing your 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 your, your effort, your your sweat. Oh my God, your labor, your labor, your labor. Those that are killing it, those that are thwarting your business, those that are making your business to, to, to fall back to zero level by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the God of divine separation uh, separate them in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says, separate ye Paul from Barnabas. Uh, therefore, every Paul in your business or Barnabas, may the Lord separate them apart uh, so that they can identify their purpose and fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Father, separate them, O God. Separate them, separate them separate them separate the gold from the sheep uh, among any uh, among uh, in, in in their business oh god among your children separate the gold from the sheep oh god from the business of your children from the business of your children from the career of your children separate them oh god two face two face two face people Two-faced people, Lord, release them away. Release them away. People that are hypocrites, release them away, Lord. They will not see them, oh God. Let me tell you something. There's, there's sometimes in life, maybe you're believing God for business, your career. You want to do something to help your destiny. 
But you're telling the wrong people. You're telling the wrong people. You're telling the wrong people. You discuss it with them. They will confuse you. They will tell you that is not what they're supposed to do. That's not what they're meant to do. You know, people, let me tell you something. That's what I tell people. That's one thing about me. I don't deceive people. I am telling you. If you're telling me God wants you to do this, God wants you to do that, or this is when it comes to destiny, oh my God. You have a very big role to play in your destiny. Even when it has been spoken as a prophecy to you, you yourself still need to confirm it so that you can know what you are doing. You see, the office I am operating today, this office I am today, I am telling you that I can beat hand in my chest and say the Lord has called me to what I am doing. And that is why you see me, I am doing it with all joy, with all happiness. I am not working, I told you people before. I don't work. God has not called me to walk, walk, walk. I am telling you, even if I walk, it's by condition. Yes, because when I came into UK, of course, I walked. At a point, I walked. At a point, I, you know, because I needed money for one thing or the other, you know, yes, I walked. I told God, I said, Father, do you know what? Please have mercy upon me. I need to put things together. I need to do it. You know? God is a God of understanding. When it's necessary, you understand the necessity. But when it's not necessary, the unnecessary will not happen in the calendar of the, in the God that I know I'm serving. I'm telling you, it can't work. He understands when you know, things are like, somehow, he, he gets it right. But when, not when the, it's not necessary, you are using the unnecessary to occupy the necessary. God will not even make it even work. Do you see? So, I'm in this office today. I'm, I'm happy. Whether I drink Gary, I am happy. Whether, you know, I am, I am, however I seem, I am happy doing it because that is what I know God has called me to do. And I'm doing it with all joy, with all happiness. I'm not complaining. Yes, we know sometimes it can be, it can be painful. It can be, you know, ups and downs. Jesus Christ himself experienced wilderness, experienced, he experienced pain, sorrow. He experienced neglection. He experienced abandon. He was spit on. He was mocked. He was caused. So many things. The Bible says, Jesus healed ten lepers. Only, only, only one came back to say, Jesus, I thank you for healing me. The nine disappeared. Do you see? <laughs> but did this stop the kingdom of God? No. Did he stop Jesus from achieving his, his purpose? Why God sent him? No. Are we getting me? <laughs> so, Jesus is on a mission. You are on a mission. We are on a mission. We should know why God, what God and why we are, well, you know, what we are doing. So that when it gets to where to ask questions from the Lord, you will be the one to ask God. You see me as I'm here. Hmm. Oh, it's my husband that will know what I'm talking about because it's me and him that is living. By the time I ginger give God, he will know how far. It's not a joke. Because I'm sure he's the one that called me to this work I'm doing, not, not a human being. Say I never reach, be say, he never reach where even when, when it will get to where it will get to. I say, Father, sometimes it's not even prayer. I don't even, I don't even need to pray much, but it must get to a you know, that's, it must get to a level where you will, you will see it happen. Sometimes it will be happening. I see something is not going. So when he, I say, Father, <laughs> this one don't pass. Like this, oh, hey, hey. He will do it. It's not a joke. He will do it. He will. But sometimes he will just be keeping quiet. As if he's not hearing. As if he's not God. He's also testing. He's testing with the servants of God. Just like the Bible says, after which our, our faith has been tested. He said, then the glory of God will now manifest in our life. At every point of our lives, God will test us. That is why we need to know what we are doing with God. That is why you need to know what you want to go into. The kind of business you want to go into. What kind of business are you praying? Are you believing God for? Is it, uh, what is it? Pray about it. 
so that when that business you know we want to be doing up and down because everything in life has up and down time yes when he, when he, when he, when the thing will start experiencing one kind you you say god but you are the one that told me so to be selling babies you said sell babies you are the one that told me to be selling food stuff you, you told me sell food stuffs so when you now pray holy anger will generate from your heart you will see god but when god did not ask you to go and be selling motor pass machine pass building material this and that you see emeka you see john because john is selling building material oh hi nah, see you see the way john building material is flowing flowing you want to go and sell business uh, building material go and try it now it can't work some people nowadays now nah, you know ministration is like uh, every day everybody now nah, is a pastor everybody now nah, is the evangelist Everybody now is a prophet. The kind of prophet I used to see online now, self, I'm, I'm ashamed. Woe unto you people, fake prophets. God will judge you all. All of you that God did not call into, into one thing or the other. Especially into carrying a, a, a Bible. Everybody is, God is, you know, you can preach the word of God. We all hold, but when I say, God call me, pray there, thus says the Lord, God is say. He said, when he did not say anything. Deceiving people, wash eye. Profess, prophesying rubbish. I used to see them on Facebook and say, God. And you see people following them like a, like a, oh. Oh, Father Lord, open the eyes of your children. Let them know what they are, what they are looking for. What are you looking for, child of God? Child of God, look for Jesus where you can find him. Look for Jesus where you can find him. Stop looking for people that will but I see your I see your pants somewhere. I see your father. Your you have three children, you have hundred you this and that. This one is doing that one. This. The God that I know is not that God God is a God of prophecy. But is when 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 they will begin to tell you the color of pants, this is that forget about all those things. You don't need you need Jesus. You need Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm not doubting the power of prophecy. When I see them, I know them. All these fake people, when I see them, I know them. A child of God with the Spirit of God, when you see the Bible says, By their fruit, you shall know them. You shall know them that the Lord has called. You shall know them that, you know, the hand of the Lord is upon. You, sh you will know them. I am telling you, this is end time. We need to be careful of people we follow on social media. People we listen to, because a lot of ministers are brainwashing people. Eh? The essence of your living is to live for God and for the kingdom of God. That is the reason why God has, you know, created you here on this earth. And then you now ask God, what does He want you to do? Which is what we are praying about tonight. Business, whatever it is. God bless you, my darling. Good morning. Mercy, Amara. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Yes. You are the one the Lord spoke to in the morning. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you about your report in the morning. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, I commit your daughter before you, O God. My Father and my King, Lord, I pray for you to touch her life. Show her mercy. Have mercy upon her, O God. Have mercy upon her. Touch her life. Let her life receive a turnaround. A turnaround that will surprise even people around her. Oh my God. They'll begin to ask her, Oh, Sister Mercy, what, where is this your God? I want to serve this your God with you. Then you will tell them, The God that I serve is the living God. The one that is in heaven. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh my God. My Jehovah that answered me, you begin to now preach the gospel through what God is about to do in your life. But you know what? You need to pray. You need to use that scripture I told you to go and pray. There's something the Lord wants to do. I am telling you in your life. But some certain things has to be properly put in place before that thing can manifest. Some things the Lord wants to, you know, do away in your life so that his hand can bring out the best that he has put in you. <laughs> when the Lord will touch you, Sister Mercy, hey, 
people around you <clears throat> who ask you a question that only you can answer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, touch her life. Father, the lady, she said she took her phone. I pray that the heart of the Lord would touch that woman to bring back her phone for her. Lord Jesus, touch that heart of that woman to bring it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, if he, however it pleases you to, you know, you, sometimes you never can tell. It's a message that there are times that st some things will happen. It will be like, you know, taking away bigger things that is about to happen. It might be that, you know, God is not using that one to just drive away one thing or the other that you don't even know about. If it is the will of God that that woman will come back with that phone, let her not hesitate to bring it back. But if it is not, let God raise helper for you. Let God surprise you with what is more than the phone that she took from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. According to you, you said you rendered her help. Your help will not kill you in the name of Jesus. Your help will not drown you. Your help will not kill you. Your help will not limit you. Rather, it will be a blessing, a promotion, a stepping stone to your next level. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, Sister Mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. So as I was saying, we need to trust God. We need to believe God for our destiny. We need to, uh, you know, Sister Fide, God bless you for coming in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Sister Fide, Nadi, God bless you for coming. We need to trust God. We need to, you know, believe God because it is Him who can make all things beautiful in our life. Look at again His word in Numbers 6.25. The Bible says, The Lord makes His face shine upon, upon thee and be gracious Unto, unto thee, unto you and I. He said, may the Lord cause his face to shine upon us. We need the face of the Lord to shine upon your business, upon that thing you're praying. You have been praying, oh Lord, I don't. maybe you're a student, you want to go into school, you want to study law, you want to study engineer, you don't know what you want to study. You are still confused. Tonight, let it be clear unto you in the name of Jesus. May the business you want to go into be clear unto you. May your purpose in life be clear unto you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and that which he has called you to do. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the light of the Lord shine upon that which you are imagining to do. In the name of Jesus, are you going into sowing? Of course. Sewing is not a bad thing. There are a lot of people who are into sewing. They are somebody made this cloth and wearing. Somebody, yes, yes. There are professionals who made suits, who made all things. And you know, everybody cannot be everybody cannot be in office and be using pen to do like this. Everybody cannot be preaching, preaching, preaching. Everybody cannot be a, a hairdresser. We so many skills, so many things different people can do. Different people can do as God has laid in their heart. You see them do the zeal in it. There are a lot of professional tailors who are enjoying, who has built a house, who are living life more than people who, you know, are even educated and the, you know, speaking grammar here and there. Eh? There are a lot of people who, with, with skills, they have bettered their lives. I'm telling you, they have bettered their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight, that which you are praying about, answer is coming to locate it in the name of Jesus. God will reveal to you yourself so that you can be sure and know what you are called to do. Are you called to be a pastor? Well, good luck. Are you called to be an evangelist? Thank you. Welcome on board. Are you called to be whatever it is? embrace it in the name of jesus receive clarity right now in the name of jesus receive clarity right now into that which god wants you to do receive clarity in that business receive clarity in your career in your destiny in your studies receive clarity right now in the name of jesus christ in your marriage receive clarity in the name of jesus Receive clarity in the name of Jesus. Receive let, let it be clear to you what 
God wants you to do. Let it be clear to you that business that you want to go into. Let it be clear to you that marriage you want to step into. Let it be clear to you. Because your marriage is part of your destiny. Let it be clear to you. Let it be clear to you that man, that woman you want to marry. Let it be clear to you right now in the name of Jesus. Let it be clear to you. Let it be clear to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray for those that are believing God for the fruit of the womb right now. Jehovah God, open their womb, oh God. Open their womb. Do the impossible in their life. Do the impossible in their life. You are a yoke breaker. Yoke breaker. You are a yoke breaker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Oh yes. Come and do a miracle. A miracle in her life. Yoke breaker. You are a yoke breaker. Oh yes. Come and break that yoke, oh Lord. That yoke in her life. Come and break that yoke, O oh Lord, that yoke in her life. As many that are believing God for the fruit of the womb, may the power of the Lord locate you and break that yoke of barrenness, break that yoke of inconception, break that yoke of, you know, gather and scatter. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you the spirit, the body to retain that which the Lord is about to give to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, there shall not be miscarriage anymore. There shall not be miscarriage anymore. Miscarriage is not your portion. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Awesome God. God is great. God is awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Hi. In the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to pray with you. The Bible said in Psalm 5 verse 12, say, For thou, Lord, would bless the righteous for you god will bless the righteous with favor with thou compass him as with a shield god will bless us in the name of jesus i am praying for you right now may the favor of the lord single you out of confusion May the favor of the Lord single you out of neglection. May the favor of the Lord single you out of that place where you don't know what to do anymore. In the name of Jesus, thou favor of the almighty God, locate as many that is watching me right now. In the name of Jesus, thou favor of God, thou favor, favor of almighty God, locate as many that is watching me right now. And even those that watch later, in the name of Jesus, look at them with their favor. Look at them with their favor. The name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray for somebody right now. Let the spirit of loneliness live your life in the name of Jesus. Spirit of loneliness. Spirit of loneliness. Loneliness in the mighty name of Jesus. Loneliness. I mean, I don't know how I can explain it. Loneliness. You know, lonely life. You're like, you are not smart. And it's not as if you can do. You are just too cool. You are just too, I don't know how I can just... You are too cool. You don't take things, you know, serious. You don't make haste while the sun shines. This is the kind of person the Lord is showing me. Yes, because as I was praying, it's like I saw somebody in like in a village. I don't know. It's like a village, you know, village uh, kind of road. And it, it just the person is just talking very, you know, sluggish in a way. And the Spirit of the Lord is making me to understand, making me to understand that. This person has spirit of, you know, lonely. There are people like that. Because of this kind of spirit, you have not amount to anything. I am telling you, you need to also help yourself. As you are hearing me right now, I pray and command that spirit of, you know, that spirit of not taking things serious. Spirit of, uh -uh, when, when you are supposed to know what to do, you will know what to do. What is your what is wrong with you? I pray, receive sense right now in the name of Jesus. Let the mighty hand of the Lord open your eyes. Open your eyes. There are a lot of great opportunities you have lost. Yes, you, somebody is watching me right now. You have lost so many opportunities that 
you're supposed to have grabbed because you know what to do. Hmm. Oh my God. I don't know if somebody is getting this. Because you know what to do. I pray for you from this minute that before the end of this year, hey, you will not miss such opportunity anymore because God is about to embed on you divine wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Chase away every spirit of sluggishness, spirit of uh, one kind, mm, 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 wake up and do something, help yourself, you can sluggishness, catch fire in your life right now, burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. That spirit, I chase it off. Whoever that spirit is operating in right now, die in the name of Jesus. Die. You need to get up. You need to get up. Just get up. Stop doing wing, 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 wing. We are not in the days of we. This, you see, the kind of the hour we are now is the hour of the days of the, the John the Baptist. That is the kind of hour. Whether you are doing business, or whether anything you are doing, we are in the days of John the Baptist. The day of right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffer like violence. Say the violent ones take it by force. Do you want to do business? You have to take it by force. Have you been praying about it? You, you have not received answer. You need to pray more. You need to you need to seriously pray more. That is taking it by force. Not that you fast some more, you pray some more. They tell you to do this, you can't do fasting, you cannot fast. Connect to prayer, you cannot connect to prayer, and yet you want God to touch you. Eh? Instead of you know doing what God wants you to do, do the right thing. Many people are busy cutting short, eh, 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 following up your way, shortcut. Easy, easy route where they can just make it. Na na na. Nobody wants to struggle, nobody wants to be patient, nobody wants to wait on the Lord. That is why the world is the way it is today. Because many are too running faster. That they, they don't want to see God. They don't want to involve God. They want it anyhow. That is why people are being killed for rituals. They don't, they don't, they don't even have conscience. They keep people anyhow as if human being is not value, you know, valuable anymore. Things just happen. People rob people because they want to be rich. People lie against people, they will forge it, they will cook it like this, they don't care, on somebody's head. Hey, because they want to make, they want to be rich. People will be taking away people's promotion, you know, wickedly. They don't care. So many things are happening. So is it what you will sit over and be looking and be watching? No. If I were you, I would say no. You have to stand up. And fight for what is, you know, fight for what God want, you know, want you to be. And the Lord will honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, precious Redeemer. Thank you, precious Redeemer. The Bible said in Deuteronomy 28 verse 13, it said, And the Lord shall make thee, myself and you, the head and not the tail. We shall be the head and not the tail. We shall be the head and not the tail. Decree it. Lay your right hand on your forehead. Say, I shall be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. I shall be the head and not the tail. I shall be the head and not the tail. In that business you are doing, say, prophesy to that business. Say, you my business. You will be the head and not the tail. You will be the head and not the tail. You will be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. In your marriage, you will be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. In that career, you will be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is you are doing, you will be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, you will be the head and not the tail on, on that which God wants you to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be the head and not the tail. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be the head and not the tail. The power of God will single you out for a divine promotion. In the name of Jesus. Now we are going to pray. Say after me, say, Oh Lord, any power challenging my glory, catch fire. Any power challenging my business. You are into business. I told you I'm praying for people who are into business, who are believing God for business, who are students, who, you know, believing God for marriage. They are, they are still part of career, all those things. With marriage, yes, settlement is part of it. 
your business, your marriage, your conception, and you know, conception. Because marriage is involved, you are believing God for fruit of the womb, the Lord will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. But majorly, this prayer is for business people, people who are confused in what they want to do and all that. You are going to pray this prayer very well. Say, Oh Lord, open the eyes of my understanding and show me my business. Show me my career. Show me what you want me to do in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, pray that prayer. Oh Lord, open the eyes of my understanding. Show me my business. Show me what you want me to do to your own glory in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer like you mean it. Pray it like you mean it. You have to, you have to kabash it there very well. Pray, my salable it a prayer. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, anything at all that would deprive us of our business, still loss of our glory, still loss of our you know journey with you that thing you want us to do to become who you want us to become any power that want to rob it off from us we command that power to die in the name of jesus let that power die the name of jesus let that power die the name of jesus die the name of jesus die the name of jesus die in the name of jesus say oh lord deliver me from spirit of sluggishness the name of jesus spirit of i don't know how we explain it um Procrastination. Eh, mbembe. Echi, tomorrow. You know, tomorrow, you know, things like that. You, before you know it, mm, the opportunity is gone. Business, or oh, business, or oh, hey, business, this one is coming. You don't, eh, before you, before you even finish taking leg, one, one leg off from ground, that one is off. You are going to pray. Say, Lord, deliver me from spirit of unseriousness. Spirit of unseriousness, spirit of unseriousness, die in my life. In the name of Jesus. There are a lot of you who are not taking your business serious. You don't take it serious. Pray for God to give you spirit of seriousness in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you give us spirit of seriousness in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. Say, my Father, every finger of the enemy in my business, in my career, in my study, we die in the name of Jesus. Every finger of the enemy in my business, in my career, we die in the name of Jesus. We die, we die, we die, we die. We die by fire. We die by fire. We die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every finger of the enemy in my business, we die in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. You are going to say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord, every agenda of the enemy to derail my destiny, die in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the enemy to derail my destiny, pray it like you mean it. Every agenda of the enemy to derail, to derail, to derail. You know what it means? To derail something, you know, scatter. To derail my destiny. We die in the name of Jesus. We die, we die, we die, we die, we die. Pa fire in the name of Jesus. We die, ba fire. With that backfire, with that backfire. When you say with that, you say backfire. With that and backfire. But turn that rapato, ikaprato. The name of hey, hey, that this is bomb, bomb, Holy Ghost bomb. Release it. The name of Jesus, Father. We pray, hey, that anywhere they gather to whisper negative whispering against the destinies of your children tonight. Let heaven disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Every delay in your career is over now in the name of Jesus. From today, move to your next level in your business. In that business you're doing that there is no customer today. Let your customer begin to locate you from the north, south, west, and east. In the name of Jesus. May God give you global connection, international connection. Those of you that are into business, wherever. Receive international connection right now in your business. Receive it in your business, in your business. Bis international business open door. Receive it now. International business open door. Business connection. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are believing God for new business idea, the business you want to go into, receive it now. That business. Explore in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are believing God for resources, resources, receive your resources right now. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord help you. May the Lord raise men for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to pray every monitoring spirit against your business, against the process, the, the progress of your business, against your, your choosing business. You know, sometimes when you have identified that thing God wants you to do, the enemy will not want you to stick by it. Because they know that when you stick by it, you will prosper. They will not begin to do what? They will not begin to channel your eye into one thing or the other. Maybe, you know, by skill or by idea or by divine, you know, you know talent and all that. You can, you can do, you can, you, you can, you have skills of designing things like, you can make cakes, you can do a lot of things, you can decorate, you can you know, do so many things. You, you know you can do very well. And you're now out of, they are doing it. That one is, is doing this one. You want to go and do it. That thing you want to go and do. Do you have zeal for it? That's what we call zeal. Is it, are you zealous about, do you have zeal? It's not about, there are so many things people can do. But when the zeal is not there, it will die. That's what we are talking about. That's why you see me in this office I am today. I'm doing it with all joy. Whether I drink at you, <clears throat> I'm doing it. I'm doing it because the zeal is there. You know, I'm telling you, the reason why you see so many pastors today now rubbing their hands into one juju or the other, one, you know, one power, black power, or this because. They cannot stand the test of, you know, test of time. As I'm here, lovely, you know, as I'm here, I, have, I, I, I can testify and I can know the reason why majority of all these fake pastors are, are increasing every day. Most of them, God called them, really, from foundation, God called them into business and to, you know, serving them, serving him. God called them. But as they are doing it, as they are going, different, different challenges from member, from people of the world, from my, you know, attack. A lot of things, before you know it, they quit. They change. Some of them will, will you know, will now begin to, oh, how will I do this? I can't continue like this anymore. Hey, if I continue like this, what would they, what would they say? People will laugh at me. Ah, they will say my church has closed. Ah, they will say, they will say, what, who, who, what are they saying? Are they the one that called you? Yeah, they will do this, they will do that. Before you know it, they will, they will go and wash their eye. They will go and put hand into what they don't, we are not supposed to put hand into. They will go and do juju just to make sure the church is going on. The members are coming. The members that are already doomed. They have doomed them. They don't know they are left from their right anymore. They have gotten power to be controlling them. Anything they talk. That's why you see all these people, pastors, you see. Anything they remember. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You better be careful. <laughs> they are under remote control. <laughs> they don't know what they are doing anymore. I am telling you. They use power and be removing them. Anything they say, they, they do as I say, do as I command, all sort of things. I can tell you why men of God do that. It's because many of them cannot stand challenges of ministry. I have been through a lot, right from Nigeria, Port Harcourt, my ministry, till now, and still going on. It has not even stopped. As long as one is living and running the, the ministry, there must be challenge. They must be coming one after the other. The, 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 you know, <laughs> oh God. In fact, God is great. After this one, another one from level to level, from level to level. And when you are able to stand as a servant, when you are able to conquer level one of your trial, your anointing will increase. I can tell people from experience, yes, what grows anointed. I can tell people from boldness, from my experience and with all, all that is all conviction that most times, you know, anointing grows from your experience with God, your encounter, your ability to stand the test of time. The anointing of God is already on your life as a, as a servant of God, as he the Lord has called. The anointing is already there naturally. But sometimes, you, you know, something must boast it. Sometimes when you, we, we, you know, we are tested, challenges come up, you know, like that, and you're able to overcome. 
to look as if when they top fuel on when you put fuel in fire, you make tune tune. That is how it is. Anointing will flow. It's not a you don't need any juju. You don't need anything to wash eye for. You don't need anything. Once you mount poop it, hey, my God, when you talk, you're talking from experience. Something is, is triggering the anointing. You've been through something. Something will be pushing out the anointing from the inside. Not the one that somebody rush I look here and do that. No. It will be real. Because there is something that is bringing it out from the inside. Something, something is tearing it. What is it? What is it that is checking your life today? That it looks as if it cannot end anymore. It shall come to an end in your life. Hey, in the name of Jesus. I said it shall come. Somebody pray for me. Pray, pray, pray for me. Hey, pray for me. Let God do something. Then let people know that Jesus have children. Jesus still have children. Real one. They are not common. They are not. People don't even know them. People that God has called and is using. That are still faithful. In this calling. People don't know them. People don't know them. They are not known. But I pray that wherever you are. Any power that wants to subdue. Your purpose in life. May the Lord wither their hands. May the Lord wither their hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you fulfill destiny. May you not be confused anymore. May your eyes be open. May the hand of the Lord touch you. May God whisper to you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We honor you. We give you praise because you are great. We give you praise because you are wonderful. Thank you for what you have done in the life of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, I am telling you, this prayer, the Lord will surely visit you. Your business, that your dying business will receive life now. In the name of Jesus. That your business, whatever it is you are believing God for, as long as the foundation is laid in Christ, like I've told us from the beginning of this thing, that if your business is not in Christ, you need to rededicate it to God. You need to come back to Jesus. You need to bring your business back from the kingdom of darkness back to the kingdom of light, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Savior of the whole world. And he himself will revive your business back to life. And it shall be well with your business in the name of Jesus. Or maybe you're also still believing God for business you want to go into. You're not still sure. You're still like, oh, I don't know which one it is. Today, clarity from above has been given unto you. The Lord will give you divine clarity. Into what he wants you to do. Whether, whatever, it, whatever he has called you to do. You will receive clarity from today. And when that clarity. You know, strikes you. There will be this deep conviction. There will be this deep conviction in your heart. That yes. This is what God wants me to do. This is my area. This is my line. And it shall be well within the name of Jesus. God bless you, Apostle Frank. God bless you for joining. God bless you too in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I told us if you have any prayer point, put it now. Let me pray for you right now. Or you can call in the prayer line. The prayer line is already there. Just try to scroll. You see some people have already typed it. Pray in right now. Uh, call in right now and I will pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So that is it. You need God, you need God, you need God. I need God, you need God. Everybody need God. Without God, nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, Lord, I know you have also remembered those who are believing you for the foot of the womb and marriage. Your, your, your hand has already singled them out for their marriage and for their children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You will testify. I say you will testify. Yes. You will testify. Those of you believing God for the foot of the womb, you will testify. The Lord will put your womb. You will not be barren. He said, no shall be barren in the land which the Lord has given unto us. Yes, to possess and live in it. Therefore, none shall be barren and so shall it be unto you. In the name of Jesus, you will not be barren. You will not be barren. We curse 
spirit of barrenness to die in your life. Dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I think I, I, I am done for now. I want to pray for, you know, those of you that are sharing these messages on Facebook. I want to pray for you. You are doing a very good job. I am telling you because the kingdom of God is about spreading it. The Bible says, how beautiful are the feet of those who spread the gospel, who bring good tidings, good news to the to, you know to, to human to, to, to mankind. As you preach the gospel by sharing these messages, the posts, the prayers, the videos, as you share it, you're blessing somebody. You are blessing somebody. I have seen people message me, Oh, woman of God, I listened to your video. Uh, somebody shared it somewhere. I saw that video, you know. And now I, I am blessed. Can you imagine? Even you that share the video, you may not even know that you're also touching lives. You know, you may not know that you're touching lives. You have shared it. And people are, you know, watching it. And they are blessed. God is touching them unknown to you why because you did something what is it that you, you you did you shared a message of the lord and now tell me how will you share the work of god and remain the same no the reason why most of us too even remain somehow in our life let me tell us some that is not i'm not preaching that but i just want to you know something triggered to it i just want to pinch it you are a child of god you are a believer. You are a Christian. You go to church. You are not useful in any way in the kingdom of God. Occupy till I come. That is the word of God. Occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. That is the word of God. He's telling myself and you to do what? To occupy till he come. Occupy your place in the Lord. In service, in sincerity, in steadfastness, in supporting the work of God. You need to occupy till Jesus come. You don't need to occupy today. Tomorrow you are not occupying anymore. No. Or like something happened to you. Just like it is to ministers of God. You know, I've thought about them. The same way it is in members. Members too, their problem is too much. Yes. Members, problem is too much. Some of them who don't, who don't want to grow. Who want to remain in prophecy? Prophesy for me. This one, that one. But you don't want to grow. You don't want to know God. You don't want to do the right thing to simple things to do for the Lord to just do what He wants to do in your life. Many of us we are believers. We have different churches we belong to. We are not useful. Some of us, okay, maybe now you don't have church, but you have somebody you are following online. Yes, that is it. You have where you attach yourself to, you are fellowshipping, you are believing, you know. By the grace of God, now soon, you know, I'll start preaching on Sundays online as well. <clears throat> yes, on Sundays, those of you who don't have church, who are still praying, you know, to God, you know, where will I fellowship, where will I, you can fellowship with us. If you don't have church, where you, if you don't know, if you believe that God is here, that it is God that we call. You want to fellowship with us? Fine. You are free to do that. And the Lord will bless you. In the name of Jesus. So what are we talking about? We need to know what we are doing with God. We need to be busy for God. We need to help the work of God to you know, expand. Like most of us here now, online. We have many places we, we you know. We don't even... Some of you are not even helping matter. Share, you cannot share. No, you are not helping the kingdom of God in anything. Many of you are just in the receiving part. Amen. Amen. You know, you receive, you receive. You don't share. You don't help. You don't even send to people. You don't encourage people. You don't pass the word of God to people to be blessed. Or even when you go to your church, in your local church, you don't even, you know, try to pass it across to Somebody you f you know that that thing can be a blessing to. So that that one too can can be part of what you have you are you have been blessed with. That is that is what the kingdom of God is about. 
Many of us, God is blessing us. We are eating alone. He don't support the work of God. He don't help in any way. And some will say, eh, if God can, then let God provide. What about you? God brought to the to the way of that church or that ministry. God has brought you to a place not to come and be looking. It's to be useful in one way or the other. I am telling you, most of us, we are struggling in business. We are struggling in our career because we are not faithful to God. We are struggling. We are not faithful to God. We don't even know the God we are praying to. We don't even know that God to start with. Most of us who claim to know, we are not faithful to that God. We eat God own. We eat our own. Unfaithfulness. We are not faithful to service. We complain every time, church. Every time, program. When there is crusade or to anything to go for rally. Hey, my leg, this one. My leg, that one. My picking, that one. My child, that one. One complain or the other. The child, God bless you with. My car, do this. My car, do that. What about if you don't have car? Won't you use your leg and go out and and, and, and work for God? Hmm. Everybody need to change. We need to change. We need to change. Some of us, we eat. Some of us, we eat the, the testimony of God. Some of God, or some of us, God will bless us. We will eat up with God's testimony. We won't even share. Sometimes when you share testimony, you are encouraging other people. That is the essence of, of testimony. Even the Bible said it in Second Timothy, or either first or second Timothy, that we should not be ashamed to, to share the, the, the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he's giving hope to the hopeless. When you share it, you encourage those that are believing God. Oh, if God can do this to this their sister, hey, is it me that God cannot remember? You will see somebody who is almost dying, who is almost like, if if he see poison now, he's going to drink and die. You see the person receive strength and say, no, I won't die no more. Because of what? He or she heard somebody's testimony. The Lord touched and he was blessed through your testimony. And you know that you are winning souls. The Bible say, you know, heaven rejoice when one soul is won into the kingdom of God. Heaven rejoice. Through your testimony, life has been saved. Somebody has given his or her life to Jesus and confessed and said, Lord, forgive me. Through your testimony. But we don't know. I want us to please know what we are doing with God. Let us not be taking God for granted anymore. Let us not be joking with God. We are in the last days. And he will say, oh, after all, there are so many prophets and everywhere. There are so many pastors everywhere. I can run to that one for prayer. I can run to that one for that. Well, up to you. You can run to anywhere. Anywhere you want to run to. But wherever you are running to, please know where you are running to. Where you are running to. <laughs> if it is not where God wants you to run to, that is how you still be parabolating about until you locate where God wants you to stay. A few days ago, yet something was running in my mind. <clears throat> I noticed that a lot of people don't have prophet. They don't have prophet. They don't have a prophet over their life. They don't have servant of God. They are just like hopers, hoping from pastor to pastor, hoping from ministry to ministry, hoping from place to place. Even if you want to worship online, there are people, yes, who has not seen church. They want to, you know, encourage. And they, they have, yes, there are a lot of online churches. Of course, there are a lot of online ministries. The world has gone global now to the, to the point that everything and everything is happening online. I am telling you the truth. Yes, people have churches, they fellowship with online. Give their life to Jesus, serve God. Who is a prophet? That is not what I'm preaching. The Holy Spirit laid that topic in my heart two days ago here. Yeah, and yesterday it rang in my spirit. I was like, who, who is a prophet? You need to have a prophet over your life. You need to have a prophet of God. Yes. And when you have a prophet, you have to be faithful to that prophet. That's when you know whether a prophet is working for you or not. It's not every day can hurry. You see any everywhere online, anywhere. Hey, amen. Anywhere. You don't even know what... You, you, everywhere, everywhere, both in the, both, apart from online self, life, anywhere, 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 friends, hey, here, 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 no, 
That is not the spirit of... People are easily deceived by that way. Number one, as a child of God, number one, your number one aim to look out for in a church is a place that you will hear the true word of God. A place you will hear the true word of God. The true word of God about Jesus Christ, about the coming of Jesus, about repentance, about salvation. That is the key, I am telling you. You see, all the, every other thing, but whatever you are looking for, will follow. I mean, God is a God of deliverance, is he not? God is a God of prophecy, yes? The book of Revelation testified the prophecies of Jesus Christ before he, he left. God is a God of healing. God is a God of what sort of miracle? Oh my God. Hey, and by the grace of God, we, we are not bragging. People who know this ministry, they know we operate in that grace. That is the grace the Lord has given to me. And to some other genuine servants of God out there, they are uncountable. Christ, the beauty of holiness, international ministry, is a prophetic deliverance and prayer ministry. Yes. Deliverance, prophetic and prayer ministry. That is what we are called to do. Heaven is our aim, number one. I want to make heaven. I don't know about you. That is what you should look at for. A ministry where you'll be, you, you, your, your mind will be centered on God. Any place where you are, you are, you, are, you, are, you are not reminded of your sin. Everything you do goes. Anyhow, anyhow goes. Forget. My sister, my brother, you are on your way to have fire. I'm not, I'm not, it's not a joke. It's not a judge. Anywhere you are, anything you do, go. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Anyhow, just do. Hmm, forget it. And I something the Lord just ministered to me of a recent now. You see all these fake churches now. Holy Spirit is remind, you know, laid in my heart. Many of them. All these fake, 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 fake people that are washed eye and using juju to. Most of, most of them now are coming back to salvation world. Salvation. Pentance, this, that. But in their heart is not. They stick it into what they believe into. Only those whose eyes are open, only those whose hand of the Lord is upon, will know what I'm talking about. Because they know that God has started exposing a lot of them now. The eyes of the Lord, the anger of God is roaring like a roaring lion over all these fake churches now. I can see God devouring a lot of them. I'm telling you. So many of them, some of them now like, salvation, salvation, salvation. It's not true. It's not from their heart. But still, they still have a way of conversing the heart of their encaged or, you know, caged members back to that thing they want them to believe. Indirectly. It may not be directly. Indirectly. Go and pray. <laughs> Ask God to open your eyes. You will see what I'm telling you. Child of God, it's high time you choose a prophet over your life. And focus on that. Whoever is a prophet, hold on to it. The Bible said that Elijah, Elisha, held on to prophet Elijah till he was taken away. Who is a prophet? Everybody anywhere, is he a prophet? No. You need to choose a prophet over your life. I am telling you, choose a prophet in truth and in spirit and stick to it. Choose a church. Remain there. Be faithful. In and out of season. Remain there. Whether it is only five members that is there, remain there. Maybe that is where God wants you to stay. You have to prayerfully pray about this thing I'm telling you today. Because I believe it's the Lord that led him out to say it to you. I may not come up again to say about it. If I'm not led, that is it. But I believe God wants you to just hear it now. Prayerfully pray about the church, the ministry, a place where you can stick to and serve God and fulfill destiny till rapture take place. Stop hovering here and there. Stop portraying men of God here and there. Stop it. That is not how you can get your miracle. Jesus is only one. Find him where he wants you to, to, to find him. Many of us, we are still... God will tell us, show us our church. 
But because it's not the kind of standard of church we be, we want, we'll be telling God, God, no, hmm. that church of where to three gather, no, no, no. Your eye will be on place where crowd. Most of you will go to church because it's a big church. You need husband. You need that. You need that. And sorry to say, most times you don't even nobody even see you because there are a lot of people, a lot of women, men everywhere, too crowdy. Sometimes nobody even see yourself. People too many to even see. I've seen a sister where the Lord told, go to, this is where I want you to worship. Until she obeyed God. And that was, you know, when you understand the principle of heaven, you will not doubt God. Anywhere he says you should go, that's where you will go. And stay. And serve him and fulfill destiny. And the Lord will bless you. Who is your prophet? That is what I will leave you with. The Lord laid this thing in my heart, you know, and I'm saying it now. Go and ask yourself a question. Are you a true follower of Jesus? Hmm. In the days of Jesus Christ, Jesus was the prophet, was the Messiah. His disciples have no any other God. They have no any other place they follow anywhere, any prophet, any come anywhere. They are, they know. Hello. All Jesus' disciples, they are with Jesus. And when Jesus departed, <clears throat> the disciples, the places they all went to, they all had disciples as wherever God has sent them to. The disciples did not live look here and there. Who is your prophet? You need to know who your prophet is. And when you identify your prophet, Hold on to who God has given you as a prophet. That is when your life will have meaning. Go and sleep with this word tonight and pray about it. If you have no one, prayerfully ask God for one. And when God reveal one to you, don't mess with it. Hold on to that prophet. Just like Elisha held on to prophet Elijah and his life was never the same. Elijah, the prophet, is a great man of anointing, a great man of God. The Lord used greatly. Elijah saw something in him. That is something we all see in people. <laughs> Elijah, Elijah saw something in him. He said, no, this is what I want in a servant of God. This is what I want in a servant of God. And he held on to it. He was pursuing it. Even when Elijah, sometimes Elijah would tell him, this man, leave me alone. Sometimes Elijah would shout on him. Sometimes Elijah would chase him. Sometimes Elijah would like, you know. But a man who knows what he wants, he's looking for. Elijah never gave up. Elijah never looked on the wells, on the things that Elijah was telling him. Elijah was not even telling him out of annoyance or hatred. He's just the spirit of a prophet. Hell, people, you people should know, men should know how to, you know, identify and work with who is their prophet. When you identify your prophet and you study your prophet and you work with your prophet the way God wants it to be, my dear, you will be exceedingly blessed. It's not a matter of joke. Look at the case of Elijah. And the case of Elisha, look at it. Today, how many of you now that will be following a servant of God and perhaps the servant of God, you know, maybe like tell you something because he's in the mood of a prophet. Every time a prophet is not laughing, every time it's not a ke -ke 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 -ke. every time it's not a joke, every time it's not, you know, thinking one or reasoning one kind. The spirit of a prophet, that is the way they operate. You can see a prophet laughing now. In the next five minutes, he's, he's coordinating in the spirit. I don't know. That is how, that is how it is. You see, you, he's coordinating. You just have to understand how you work and operate like that with them. Elisha understood. He held down. He said that I may get double portion of your anointing, you Elijah. I want to have double portion of your anointing. Oh my God. When I, when I read that, oh my God, that's in it. Oh, faith. 
and love, steadfastness, you know, steadfastness, commitment, sincerity. That's what I can see in that journey of Elijah and Elisha. Sincerity, steadfastness, you know, trust, believe, zeal. Zeal, the zeal was there, no matter. And at the end, what happened? He got what he wanted. Many of us today, <clears throat> unsteadfastness will not even let us arrive at that point where we will get what we want. Pride will not even let us. Robin shoulder. Maybe when the servant of God laugh with you too much or play with you too much, that becomes something else. A lot of things. But look at it. Sometimes there should be bound. Even in the days of Jesus. Even Jesus Christ himself told his disciples to stay, you know, somewhere. He said, stay here. Let me go yonder. I think that was when he went to pray in the garden of uh, Gethsemane. He, he, he left them somewhere. And he said, you, you stay here and pray. I am coming. He went a bit further. The Bible says, went a bit. What is that? That is distance. That is separation. That is separation. I am telling you, sometimes there is something we call, you know, boundary. That is the boundary. Jesus Christ, he doesn't take him anything to, you know, say, let me pray with my disciples. Let's all, let us all pray together. Of course, they are his disciples, but something told him. He needed in his spirit to just go a bit further. He, he needed to be left alone. And he went a bit further to do what? To pray. That was where he was. He covered his head and was praying bitterly because the hour of his time is approaching. That was the, the last prayer. He prayed before, you know, they took him for, you know, for a, a, a crucif a crucifixion. Child of God, I want you to go home. Do you have a church? Do you have a place you belong to? Do you have a place you sincerely belong to? Whether your pastor is watching you or not. Whether your woman of God is seeing you or not. Whether he's following you or is not following you. Are you sincere? Just like Elisha was sincere to Elijah. Are you sincere? The other day I, I, have, I have ministered on um, um, Anamo Biara. Who is Anamo Biara? I've said that. I've preached on that before. Anamo Biara. You don't protect your pastor. You don't protect your church, your ministry. That is why the genesis of all these things has to be with you. Asking God, where, what, what, where, show me my church. Show me who is my prophet. Show me who, where you want me to belong to and serve you till you come. God will show you. He will tell you. But if he tell you, will you obey? Will you big or pride or... Seeking your own idea. Will he let you? Will he let you? Many of us, you don't want to build. You want to, you want to be flopping about with, you know, people that some people, other people has built. Maybe God wants to use you to build another church, to stand. You don't want to labor. I mean, God is not happy with such people. I'm telling you. And they are just on their own. And one good news about this God is that when you fumble, he replaces you. You are not the only one God. Have God have plenty of children. That's how it is with servants of God. Nobody can do guy for you. When you God, he will, he will intimidate Allah crazy. If there's any word like that. <laughs> with immediate effect, he will replace you. That is it. But may we not be replaced in the name of Jesus. May we not be, and we will not be replaced. Because I know that this message tonight, God will minister to us and we will go home and think about it and he will bless our life and soul in the mighty name of Jesus. So these things I'm talking about is part of what can help you identify your purpose in life and run with it. With that business, so your business will be sincere. In still praying for your, be sincere to yourself and be sincere to God. Be sincere to humanity. Be sincere for once. 
and the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I want to thank you all once again for being my followers on Facebook, for supporting the work of God in this ministry, you know, for believing in this ministry. I want to thank God for your life. And I want to thank God for those that the Lord has given testimonies. And I want to pray that God, those testimonies, oh God, will be permanent in their life. And I want to pray, Jehovah God, even those that you have blessed, who have sincerely from their heart, oh, choose to sow in this ministry. Jehovah God, you will bless them. Jehovah God, you will honor them. Jehovah God, you will honor them. Oh, a couple of people called me. They said, woman of God. I want to sow in your ministry. It's just that I'm using my phone to, to do this message I'm doing. My iPad is not, is not working. See, I'm, I will have just, you know, show you. But that phone, I'll just show you the conversation. I said, I want to bless your ministry. I told you, I'm not into ministry because of money, as I'm here, by the grace of God. I'm not into ministry because of money. I'm not into ministry because... Um, I, I, I'm not a money, 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 money person. It's not a matter of joke. God is my witness. I don't intend you to brag about it. I believe in 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 the in the in the in, the, in what God has called me to to give to His people. Is my is my earnest. In fact, is my heart. I tell you, sometimes we forget offering. It's because that is not where my you know. Yes, yeah, so. But God is faithful. Woman of God, I want to bless your ministry. That sister, I am praying for those of you who God has touched to, to, to bless. It didn't even occur to me. He said, I want to bless your ministry. Well, how, which way can I help? I said, well, there is a project we have in Africa, and it's true. We have that project in Africa. We are building a church in Nigeria by the grace of God. That project is going on, but we are still believing God for financial breakthrough to complete the project. God can use you to be of a help. God can use you to support the kingdom work. If God wants to use you, it's a privilege. Yes, if God wants to use it's a privilege. Don't say no. Don't say, you know. However God is touching you to support, whatever it is, just give to God cheerfully. It's not a fake something. You know, it's not a something that uh, we are not faking it. It's something that is real. The project is there. There's need for real. That's why I'm, I do mention it sometimes. Even when you watch me, I don't even mention it often. It's when I... That is to tell you that it's not... Money is not a... Not that I have too much or I'm, I'm a big madam or whatever. But because one, something that is my zeal is for people to come to Jesus first. To know, to deliver the message, to, you know. So, if the Lord is touching you to be a part of it, good. And you, you, will, you will surely reap your reward. I am telling you that you will surely reap your reward. I just want to show you a couple of people that the Lord has just touched on their own, who decide to you know, bless the work of God in this ministry because of what God is doing in their life. Yes, I am telling you. So, if God is... Touching you to do. Don't say no. Don't say no. I'm trying to. The light of this. Uh, this call itself. I don't. You can see. I don't know if you can see. You can. Let me. I will just try. And see whether. You know. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Jesus. I don't know if you can see it. You can read it. Can you? Can somebody see it? Say, good morning, ma. How do I give? Can I have the account details? This is somebody that wants to support. And, it's, and <laughs> oh my God. When you love God, somebody will not tell you what to do. And me, I'm, I like people. That's why I, I like children of God who know what they want. I, I, I love people who love God. 
Because if you love God and you said you are a child of God, you love God, and you study your Bible, there are some certain things that you are not, you are not to be told as a child of God. When it comes to a church and you find that you can sing very well, you can sing very well within you, even without being told, even without pastor telling you, oh, you that sister, yeah, I can see you can sing, no. And you know, you know, you should know your area. And you, you, you can find that church needs, you know, more people in the choir section. And you are still sitting back to wait for a pastor to come and be begging you to come and join choir. You are not, I mean, I mean, will I say, you are not ready for the kingdom. You are not ready for the kingdom. Nobody should remind you, nobody should tell you to do this, to do that. You have to do it willingly by yourself or even when it is announced this department is needing so 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 you know prayer warrior this that you willingly go out and do it or a crusade is announced we want to do crusade we want to do program there's we need money to sponsor this program and you know you have money god has blessed you to support that crusade is a crusade that when it is launched out People will give their life to Christ. People will repent. Through your finance, through your sponsorship, people will give their life to Jesus. Maybe that is your area to support the work of God, to encourage and all that. But when you are not doing it, I mean, God will not be happy with you. Let me not deceive you. I am sorry to say it. No child will ever be happy, no mother will ever be happy with his, with his child who is not taking care of him. Or who does not even have time. A mother will call his son. Do this for me. The son will always find one thing to say. Or give me this. He will say no. Every day is complaining. He's not giving. And yet. You are my son. No? And yet you are my. I cannot hate you. But. What will make me be happy about you? You my son. that Or my child. Or my whoever. Or my friend. Or my anything. Wherever. I can't see the impact. What makes you to be my friend? What makes you to be, you know, a, a child of God? I mean, God is not, God can never find delight in such people. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. It's, I will tell you, people may not tell you because maybe they don't, they don't want you to be useful in the kingdom of God. They don't want you to be, they don't want your, God to bless you. They don't want your life to be transformed by God. But they won't tell you because maybe they have used other means. To get their, 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 what they want. So they will be cutting off some certain things. People will be feeling relaxed. No. You need to be useful. You have to occupy till Jesus come. You have to occupy. So those of you that have been supporting, may the Lord bless you. May they all replenish your pocket. And to those of you who God is touching to sow, please don't drag, don't argue with the Holy Spirit. If God is laying in your heart to sow seed towards that project in Nigeria, that church project in Nigeria, please don't hesitate to impose me so that you can be a part of what God is doing in that ministry and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. I told us that it's somebody that bought that land. Somebody single-handedly bought that land. Somebody that you know, I prayed for and the Lord answered, bought that land. Say, what will I do for this God? And she bought that land for the church in Nigeria. So if somebody can do that, God can still use you to be to complete the you know every other thing that has to do with that building. So be part of it and the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless us all. Let's remain faithful and remain rapture ready, getting ready and be preparing our soul, you know, for the coming of Jesus. Look at what is going on in the world of today. Problem everywhere, you know, problem. Hurricane, you know, problem. Even Nigeria, problem. I don't know, problem. Every day, people are dying. All these things are signs that the end is very near. We, you need to prepare your soul. You need to, you need to amend your ways. You need to do things that would make God happy at this point of your life. Take our time to know what God wants you to do. Eh? minimize some certain you know some i i see a lot of teachings they tell people grace 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 you repent this that you repent that one you don't longer 
a lot of things grace 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 jesus i died for you jesus i've died for you you don't need to do this don't need to <laughs> oh god brethren you need to be careful you need to be careful what you are listening. You need to be careful what you are following. You need to be careful the teaching you are, you are, you are putting your ears into. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. You don't need to do anything. Grace, 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 grace. Jesus, Jesus died for you. This, that. He, he has purchased you. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to. Okay. Jesus has died for you. We are continuing in, in fornication. Jesus has died for you. Continue in stealing. Continue in lying. Continue in killing. Jesus has died for you. He has purchased you. He has died for you. Grace is there. Continue in, continue in, in, in immorality. And tell me how the Spirit of God will still dwell in you. God forbid. It's not the God that I know. God is the God of holiness. God is the God of righteousness. God is the God of purity. God is the God of kindness. He's a God that no iniquity will abide where God is operating. May the Lord bless us all until we meet again on Friday. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for joining me. I so much appreciate you all. Please, can you share the video? Share the video. On Friday, we are meeting again for you know, another wonderful time in God's presence. Remain connected to God. The Lord will bless you. And I pray that your blessings will remain permanent. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen please i want us to you know um, share the grace by the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen thank you jesus thank you jesus be happy jesus loves you be happy I can't wait. I can't wait for that Nigerian church to kick off. Yes. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So that, that is why we, we are calling on you. Whatever God is laying in your heart, do something so that 